Dr. Chen, welcome and thank you for coming. Thank you, Loni. <laughs> well, um, Dr. Chen, I, I've been fortunate. I've been able to hear a little bit about some of your work and, and, uh, and it really is exciting. So I, I'm going to prepare everybody that, that we have some, some, um, some real hope for the future as far as some uh, new, uh, new tools to help us you know, um, fight these conditions that, that help us, that make us lose vision. But um, I'm just, you know, your, your story is interesting, just, you know, where you came from and, and coming to Pittsburgh and, and but, uh, and, you know, uh, and, and all of the, the faculty have an amazing amount of education and background. So through all of these things that you did to get to where you are, um, you know, at what point did you say to yourself, you know, this is what I want to do. I want to work in science. I want to get, I want to try to find uh, the, the next uh, big breakthrough for, for, for what causes vision loss. Yeah, I, I think my journey is uh, kind of similar to many of the scientists who are uh, still being consistently and hardworking in the field. I think the original passion comes from just a very simple curiosity about life, how we are living. And then it's getting more and more specific. And then when I grow, when I learn more, I become more urging into the field that I want to contribute and I want to help uh, people that suffer. And then I found this fascinating, uh, fascinating organ, uh, which is the eye. And you know, we always always say uh, eyes are the window of our soul, and we and the vision is such an important perception of uh, how we interact with the world. So it's also kind of a serendipity when I met my postdoc mentor, Dr. Chris Polchaski, who really led me and uh, welcomed me to the vision field, and and this is. You know, a combination of how I become who I am now. Well, you know, and, and, and certainly people can see that in your bio and all the things that you've done in the, in the, you know, the places you've been to get here. But you came here to Pittsburgh in 2017. And now you're part of this incredible research team doing research in, in vision sciences and, and working with Dr. Sahel and many others, uh, uh, other members of the team. So I know you brought some, some slides to share with us and, and you're going to talk a little bit about your research. So please go ahead and share that now and tell us a little bit about what you're doing in research. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes, yeah. Okay, so uh, my lab, in a summary, it's a pharmacology lab, uh, mainly focusing on retinal degeneration. And I'm uh, also holding a secondary uh, appointment at the Department of Pharmacology and Chemical Biology. So uh, I first of all want to show the acknowledgement slide because uh, no work can be done just if it's all by myself. Um, I, when I moved to Pittsburgh, I met wonderful people and we have started a, such a wonderful journey by different type of collaborations. And uh, currently I have a hold a project that's uh, supported by an R01 funding, uh, which is in collaboration with this beautiful lady, Dr. Morgan Dorchak, uh, who's a drug delivery expert and whose office is just next door to me so that we have a chance to work together and improve the drug's uh, behavior to make them uh, in a slow release motion uh, into the eye. So that in the future, uh, the patient won't need to have, uh, to have frequent injections for their treatment. And also we recently have a new project that's uh, introduced by our wonderful chair, Dr. Uh, Jose Alain Sahel, as well as two wonderful colleagues in the Department of Pharmacology and Department of Neurology, Dr. Edwin Jackson and Dr. Lori Berder. 
and also I have a wonderful team members with three great uh, postdoc scholars. And also I appreciate the funding from my uh, from NIH and from the Wigan Entrepreneur Research Award and the startup. So he, this slide shows an overview of what my lab is doing. So the goal of our lab is to understand how and why retinal degeneration happens. And from what we have learned uh, in the animal models and in the tissue culture models, we aim to develop effective and safe pharmacological treatment for retinal degenerations. And most of them are currently uh, have no effective cure. And uh, also we want to understand how these chemicals work in the eyes for the basic biology curiosity purpose. So uh, the models we have starts from the isolated molecular system uh, to the tissue culture, mammalian culture system to medicinal chemistry and uh, hardcore pharmacology about the mechanism of action. And then uh, small tests in the small rodent models uh, by looking at the morphological change and physiological change. Uh, upon treatment. So here are some examples. Um, this slide just shows uh, how we use the structural biology and biochemical tools to dock the leading compounds that we found are efficacious in vivo and to find how they bind the target to uh, lead us to understand how the drug work and uh, how we can improve the chemistry of the drug. And, and this slide shows how we use, um, how we can put retina in the culture system so that we can control uh, the drug concentration and testify whether the drug work and improve the concentration and safety of the drug. And then finally, we put the champion uh, compound into the real animal models and watch how they can improve the morphology and uh, function of the retina. So hopefully this uh, few slides give you an overview of what we are doing. Well, it, it does. And, and, you know, it's, it's a very sound, you know, pharmacological, you know, research approach. You're, you know, you, you, you actually can do the chemistry and the, and the formulation and then and then also do the, uh, the the studies to see that these 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 work in in real models. It's um, it's an amazing background, certainly, to have the pharmacology yeah. background to be able to do this kind of work. And 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 what an asset as well for the rest of the scientists on the team. It it is uh, fortunate to have wonderful people. It's always an honor to work with different people with different aspects of expertise so that we can work together to make things uh, improve. I, I myself have a very limited expertise in certain aspects, but being able to work in such a wonderful platform and such wonderful people is really my honor. So you, when you came to Pittsburgh in 2017, you were one of Dr. Sahel's early recruits. He, he uh, met you uh, when uh, he gave a lecture at uh, Case Western uh, University. And then, um, and then you messaged him about, you know, uh, coming to Pittsburgh and, and the rest is history, I guess. But, but what were the other factors besides? Dr. Sahel is the big factor, I, I know that. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh... A strong leader to me is a very, very important so that I can see the whole department will have a, a very strong leadership and team. Um, but also when I come to Pitt uh, for my first interview, it just confirmed my first impression about 
not only Dr. Sahel, but the whole group of uh, people in ophthalmology and also in the School of Medicine. I met Dr. Levine, Arthur Levine, the mm -hmm. Dean of Medicine. I, I can see the University of Pittsburgh have very strong support for research and um, even uh, ophthalmology department is a clinical department. I also see a uh, high passion uh, of collaboration between research scientists and physicians. And I, uh, when I met our research director, Dr. Jeff Gross, he's such a, a passionate and encouraging and patient person. I really calmed me down when I started my lab with a lot of stress and uncertainty, and he convinced me that I can do it. It's uh, <laughs> such an important uh, thing for me. And what's also nice is along with, as you said, along with my recruit, there are uh, several other young talented scientists join with me together. So being able to grow together with those uh, young talents is really a wonderful experience for me so that we share our uh, excitement and we share our frustration and it's wonderful to see all of us grow together and then which nurtures a uh, bonding between the colleagues uh, in different labs with different expertise and nurtures collaborations all aspects and those slides i showed are just the formal collaboration that's funded and we also have a lot of uh, informal interactions uh, we share equipment protocols and the students and trainees are mingled together in this open bench concept yeah everything is is wonderful that's that's really well said and i think it, and very true from from everything i've observed but also others that have I've talked to even in this process of doing the interview. So um, no surprise, but but I'm glad to hear that. And, and um, I think it's encouraging for the success for our patients too, who are looking for those answers. And um, you and, and the rest of the team, as you mentioned, are, are young. You know, there's a lot of, of young talent that, that has been brought in, really great background, really great experiences, but you've already accomplished a lot. You've done a lot. Um, in, in your uh, years in working in science. If you were to pinpoint something to us that you're um, most proud of in terms of some of those, one of those accomplishments or maybe a couple of those accomplishments in science, um, what would you say that is? Thank you for so uh, encouraging. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would say um, one of the big, biggest com accomplishment for me is uh, I feel like I finally uh, feel at home when I was um, working in the department. And I feel like I, I got a very strong support as I previously mentioned to be able to work with such a wonderful team and uh, being able to become a mentor myself and nurturing younger scientists and trainees and see their growth. Uh, and along with that, we are able to publish uh, papers, research papers, and uh, ha uh, start to have uh, inventions that uh, lead to patents. And I think all those documented in the CV are really showing the back scene story of the hardworking team that uh, finally form a strong bonding between each other and the strong trust. And it's really uh, rewarding to see the uh, now we have high imaging uh, centers and also physiology equipment working well for the department. So it's not only for myself's accomplishment. I feel the most accomplished when I see my team and I see my colleagues are all doing well. And I have a very strong faith that we will all uh, grow together. Yeah. And also this uh, new collaboration with uh, colleagues in different departments is very exciting. So we even extend our capability by utilizing others' expertise. For example, this recent collaboration uh, in, uh, with Dr. Jackson, he brought in the expertise for the metabolize of purines that we are, have never imagined that we can do in our own lab. And, uh, 
within the two weeks, uh, their lab just sent us very stunning uh, results that really enrich the research program that we that established here. So yeah, it's very exciting, and it and it's real. It's it's genuine. I I did have a chance to um, hear you lecture just a little bit yesterday. As we were talking to the folks who uh, made the Wigan Entrepreneurial Award possible, and 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 it was, you know, it is a good moment for um, our uh, our scientists, but also our philanthropic community, and for the again the patients who are kind of waiting for these these answers. When we see some of the the um, potential breakthroughs that 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 you and your other partners and on on these teams are working on, so. Um, Thank you, and and you know we're we're looking forward to the future quite a bit. I know that we also are working looking forward to getting, you know, out of this um, COVID period and kind of back into normalcy in terms of being, you know, you're in your office, I'm kind of in my home office. But when when we look at the the near future with the New Vision Institute and the the things that we're building and growing, we still have a lot of growing to do. What are some of the things that that you um, look forward to the most in terms of of the the opportunities and things that we can do for for the people who are waiting for these these um, new drugs and new discoveries? Yes, uh, definitely. I think um, I'm really, really thrilled uh, to hear about this uh, new building uh, when I joined the department and then. Uh, still watching the progress and uh, well, every time when I pass through the construction site and I'm very happy that still uh, it's keep progressing even uh, with the inter uh, interruption of this COVID-19 pandemic. But I have strong faith it will finally be accomplished and it will be done very well. Um, and I'm very excited uh, to be able to uh, join the entire department into the same physical building and with the outstanding facility for research, for animals, and for patients. And it's nice that uh, we have a nice uh, interaction uh, space there for physicians and for uh, scientists, research scientists, to be able to join um, in a formal format and also casual format so that uh, to nurture a nurse, a new collaboration, and to share knowledge from basic research to clinical research, which is really, really important. And if you look at the departments, uh, clinical departments nationwide, it's very rare to find such a nice uh, facility like what Dr. Sahel and uh, uh, ERNI Foundation is uh, putting up together and I really, really like it. And I want to sh uh, uh, thank you, Lonnie, uh, so that I really appreciate uh, the support and your effort in uh, finding all this um, uh, support for young uh, scientists, ophthalmologists uh, within the department and understand the first several years of the new investigators in allocating funding and we all also very appreciate the donors that uh, have a face of us and believe that we will make a change. Well, thank you. No, it, it, it is very important and, and, and there's, and you know, I think you're a great example and the work you're doing is a great example of how the kind of support that can come from our foundation and from donors can really make an impact because some of the projects that you spoke of and that you're working on are things that, that really needed to be um, done as a sort of a high risk project just to try and 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 now they're becoming um, you know uh, very formidable uh, opportunities to make a change and make a difference for people so so no it's our pleasure and it's a pleasure to work with people like you and it's a pleasure to certainly work with with everybody in the department so Thank you. Thank you for spending time with us today. This was wonderful and fun. So I, um, I want to see more of you and we'll look forward to more opportunities. Um, you have a great rest of your day. Oh, you too. Thank you.